Hey, my name's Michael Moskos, and you are on the Online Prosperity Show with Prosper, and we are going to talk about coaches getting clients in their coaching business. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the coach's coach himself, Michael. Michael, how are you doing, my man? Hi, I'm good, my man. Thanks for having me on. Uh, like, really appreciate it. I know it's been a little while, but um, in the works, but it's good to be finally on with you, man. Absolutely. Now, if you're watching this show right now, you would understand and appreciate that we are always bringing you experts in their own realm. Now, I've known Michael since um, early last year and I've been watching his work. Um, even though I invited him to have a chat earlier, um, that didn't work out, but now we've got him on the show. So obviously you could be a coach, you could be a consultant, you could be uh, somebody who's starting a business and your main uh, goal is to make sure that it's profitable and enjoyable. But I must tell you, starting a business or starting a coaching practice from the ground up is not an easy task, all right? You have to have a unique selling proposition, smart marketing, sales strategies, networking skills. You should have social proof, results, and a whole lot more that the market is actually demanding at the moment. More than anything else, however, you have to attract the right kind of client with the right kind of pain so that you can actually help them, um, you know, solve their problems. But you don't want to just accept anyone. You know, they, those kind of clients that are not be, you're not best equipped to help and they may not benefit from your services. What can you do as a coach? How can you attract the right kind of people that you can serve? And that's the reason why I think Michael is going to be helping us out, um, you know, in debunking all those myths regarding, um, you know, the, the, the troubles that coaches go through in, in reaching to their ultimate audience. Now, I could go on and on uh, talking about all of these things, but Michael, tell us a little bit about your story and what you actually do uh, to help those coaches. Yeah, awesome, man. So, um, like, that's why I'm so stoked to be on the show um, and, and resonate so much with you, Prosper, is because I think, like, it is so far and few between actual entrepreneurs that are, that are both building a business and enjoying it at the same time. They're either not building it or they're, or they're either building it and they're not enjoying it. So for me, what I do is parallel with what you do, essentially, but just for coaches. So... I set coaches free of their limiting beliefs and give them a strategy so they can actually create massive financial abundance for themselves and, and do what they love full time. So that's what sets me on fire. And, and why I do that is because, you know, it was, it was about a year and almost a year and a half ago now that, you know, I was working a job that I was working nine to five, a job I didn't like, you, you know, the, the usual story. But, uh, you know, for, for me, I, I knew that it's not what I wanted to do. And I, I was sick of, you know, working for someone else and not living my passion and, and not doing what I believed I was put here to do, which is to help people. And, and you know, I, I, I bit the bullet and I decided to become a life coach and get certified. And, you know, I think any coaches watching this now can resonate. Like, it's so exciting being given the tools to actually help people in a, in a really awesome way. Also, it's really cool seeing like the uh, like what it can create for you financially as well, um, and and, your, and the freedom it can give you as well. And uh, I went out there and got fired up, and you know sold as many people as I could on working with me, and it went really well in the first week. Uh, and I made more than I'd ever made. I made five k a week. It was amazing in the first week so I was really stoked and I thought awesome this is how it's gonna be now I'm just gonna keep on doing this I'm gonna be paid for what I love I love it I quit my job and those first five clients were literally the only clients I had for a long long time and and, and uh, you know in a nutshell what happened was I, I fell in a big bad mess and uh, I my, my business was going nowhere really quick I was bringing in no money and I had to reset. I moved back home with my parents. It, it was like, it, was, it was, wasn't good. It wasn't a good time, right? And I, I decided that I was going to master business and I was going to master marketing 
and, and I was going to get my mindset right and I wasn't giving up. I, I was going to do this thing. And, um, and, and it, within six months, I helped over 100, 100 people one-on-one, uh, built a six-figure business <laughs> and, and never looked back. And uh, I had lots of coaches asking me how the hell I did it. And um, now, then I, I, I stopped fighting the inevitable and you know, now I help coaches do the exact same thing. Uh, teach them how to earn five figures a month within six months and do it consistently because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want anyone to have to give up on their dreams or to have to go through what I went through. And I think there's a big gap between coaching certificate and running a business that's actually changing lives and making money. So uh, <laughs> that's what I do now, man. Absolutely. And thank you so much uh, for sharing that uh, roller coaster of a journey that you went through there, Michael. Now, you mentioned something in one of your first sentences and it spelled limiting beliefs, all right? Can you walk us through um, a little bit? Because when you have limiting beliefs, you hardly can tell that that is the thing that is stopping you from actually achieving, um, you know, greater heights or bigger things. Can you just walk us through the sort of limiting beliefs that was prevalent between you just holding the certificate and actually starting to make... Um, the money, which I think a lot of people are going through. Yeah, a hundred percent, man. And I, I like how you said, like these limiting beliefs that you, you you're not even aware of, because most people have been carrying the limiting beliefs around for their whole life from when they were young. So it's normal. It's a normal ceiling. That's just the way they've always thought, but they don't consciously realize how much it is limiting them, and and that's dangerous, right? Because what we don't what we're not conscious of, we can't can't really change. So it's, it's a scary thing. And yeah, I think it holds people back in a huge way, especially in business where, where it's all on you. And I, I do believe that 80% of business is the mindset and, and 20% everything else because there couldn't be someone that makes a sales call, gets a no, and someone with the right mindset will say, awesome, there's going to be a yes coming. That's great. They said no. There's an opportunity there. Uh, like, and then the person with the wrong mindset might say, I'm shit, I can't do this, I'm not meant for this. And when we're talking specific limiting beliefs, what are they really saying? Well, from helping over 150 plus people now, um, I would say that it all comes down to something along the lines of, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough. Um, and then the other ones, um, that are common is I can't do it. Um, they don't believe they can do it on an, unco on, on a, on a real level or, you know, um, so something along that basis, but they're, they're usually the, un that's usually the, uh, the unconscious limiting beliefs that put a ceiling on okay. what people can create. Great stuff. Yeah, man. Great stuff. So you really are raising a lot of really good points there. And as much as you say you helped um, all these people to actually achieve, you know, a happier existence. Now, when it comes to helping, one of the things that a lot of people uh, find is you have to fill yourself up first. So what is it that you would need to become in order to succumb those limiting beliefs? and be able to help, um, you know, those that need your help or your expertise as a coach? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> that is, that's an amazing question. I'd say big goals, bro. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it's outside of your comfort zone that could, cause you're not going to be aware of the limiting beliefs until, until you go for something that you don't think you can do. You know, you have to go outside of it. You have to go for big and, and commit to something big. And, and I, I believe then, then you, then you've got to commit to the growth <laughs> and you've got to be committed to doing the inner work, whatever that means for you, um, to, to, to smash through that. And it, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be testing and you're going to hit, you're going to, people think growth is this, uh, this amazing thing that it feels nice and, and whatever else, but it's, it's generally hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. And I, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, NLP. Uh, is is my my favorite way and fastest way to 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 smash through limiting beliefs for anyone. I don't. I've not seen anything else that can change someone's beliefs around what what they can do and, and who they are. 
um, quicker than NLP. So that that's that's my method of it. But yeah, nice. man, it's, it's, it's a constant, never ending pro process anyway, regardless of what you want to do with it. Absolutely. And um, I'll take that as a compliment when you say it's a really good question because when you start asking the right type of questions, you get the right type of answers. And you can only have total clarity with the right type of questions that you start asking and get the results for your clients that you're looking for if you ask the right type of questions. Now, how important is it to be clear on your vision? on your values and also those beliefs in order for you to actually um, get the success that one person uh, is getting. Yeah, that's really good. That's like, I think it's paramount, man. Uh, I think, I think it's so important, like, cause that's where all your decisions are going to come from. That's where everything's going to come from. So, so the inner work is, is so important. I think what can happen though is like maybe the flip side of that is people are, wanting to get everything sorted before they're taking the action. And I'm, a, I'm, actually, I'm actually really big on that the healing is in the doing. The, the healing is in the doing. And a lot of people are maybe not taking action in their business or, you know, not doing these things um, uh, because they, they feel that they're not quite ready. But the paradox is if they, they actually did them, they would actually smash through a whole heap of limiting beliefs that actually feel so much better for, about themselves and about what they can achieve. It would create massive momentum for them and it would be perfect. So I, I, I believe in working on self, but not without the action. Must take the action because that is working on yourself. Absolutely. So you did highlight um, in a sentence just a little bit earlier that everything has to be sorted before taking action. And that's what a lot of people think or is supposed to be the, the right way of um, doing things, which then causes procrastination. But do you think that um, that is all being caused because people do not feel that they're being authentic um, in their rightful way um, if they present half-baked ideas or actions that they would have taken uh, on their part? Yeah, that's, that's spot on. Like, that stops so many coaches. I hear that all the time. Like, how am I meant to market something? How am I meant to sell something if I haven't, you know, worked with anyone yet? Or if I don't, if I'm not this perfect person, that's a huge, huge block for, for coaches. And, and they say, like, I don't do everything right. Who am I to tell somebody else? Well, <laughs> well, you know, it's unrealistic. It's, and and the, the perfectionist mentality is... is so detrimental like so detrimental it's never going to be perfect there's never going to be a right time and and i think it's just that you just got to do <laughs> do the, the the best the best in business just are the people that do we need more doers and, and that's what you'll get your clients will buy from you just because you're doing <laughs> great stuff so in a real world i mean obviously in australia we've got 27 million 27 million people uh, in total as a population of which um, half of those are maybe seniors or kids. And then the rest are within the age group that would need or might need a coach per se. So that means um, there's not that many people to work around with. And in the process of somebody doing, like you say, they need to be showing results. So would you encourage people to go out there and, um, you know, start offering their help to people that may not have an idea what they're talking about or how do you then um, help people to actually reach the right kind of audience that needs um, the services that they're proffering? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so I think, I think that um, like with any business you're starting or like especially, or coaching business, since that's what we're talking about, is there's going to be people that are going to buy like right away, like you're going to put it out in the universe that you're a coach and they're going to say, I was looking for one of those and you're going to get them. And, but then I think there's like another, they say another about 60% of people that don't think they they need what you're selling or they're not ready to buy from you. Um, and, and they don't actually know that, um, that they need what you, what you're selling, um, or, or what you're offering. And uh, to, to answer your question, 
to you have to be consistent and committed and and you have to you have to be around long enough in in those people's um attention so that they can like uh so they can know you first and like you and trust you and and it's 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 then that you can those people you know the great marketers will convert those people into 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 sales into their business um so like that that's a huge thing is is being committed and consistent and and being there when, when that person is ready to buy absolutely um i think it was albert einstein that said that i'm not lucky but i just stay with problems a bit longer so if you're a coach right now uh like what okay. michael is suggesting you need to identify your niche and look at what problems that you're looking for and the prior or oh, the clients that are actually um you know um facing those problems those are the people that would you would attract uh, yourself to and they become your desired clients the reason being like what Mark, michael says people like to do business with those they know like and trust so that means you're going to be authentic and you're going to be consistent with your message people would be drawn to you now that yep. consistency that uh authenticity takes a lot of time do you find that most of the people that uh you deal with are just maybe in it um anticipating an overnight success and maybe what would you um uh, sort of coach your clients um you know that that are in it for uh quick returns or instant gratification yeah that's that's great yeah it, it, just the long game this to, to to understand the long game and 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 to to be real about that like i'm not i'm not saying be realistic as in like take it easy you know lower your goals or anything but just be realistic like you can you go hard every single day with what you're doing but there's is going to be a time there's going to be a time factor and you know there's a lot of people out there that are selling people on you know these quick results and and all, uh, all this great stuff and and sure that's good for them because it will get them into their program or whatever but you know uh, these people you know it, it disheartens them uh, that they're expecting a, a result within within one month they're expecting to, to to have this massive result and when they don't get it what happens usually mindset stuffs them up and they like <laughs> you got to be realistic so the long game is so important um and and just to, to actually know and just to, to be able to keep plugging away at it man that's seriously it. i think the most engaged is going to win in business absolutely i like that that the, the most engaged people are the ones that are winning in business now michael in this day and age that we live by you know we we are under the scrutiny of social media you know um the big microscope that is looking into our lives uh, etc um and people now anticipate um politicians uh people of note you know to sort of lead the life that they want to portray how important is it to become kind of coach that you would want your clients to hire by embodying all the things and the values that um you have to live by so maybe you're a fitness coach you don't want to be seen at mcdonald's um <laughs> you're a money coach you don't want to be uh you know seen at centerlink uh lining up for your monthly <laughs> lining up for your monthly stipend there like the question says how important is it to become the coach that um you would want your clients to hire oh man it's so important like i you know there's something to say about like marketing that's relatable and makes you likable but that doesn't mean like if you're a health coach that you should you know instagram your whole night out with the with the boys or night out with the girls you know drinking or whatever that's you know this is this is uh detrimental to your marketing like your clients are coming to you because they they see you as something that they want and this is like if you're doing one thing one moment and the opposite thing the next then it's not it's not being consistent they're coming to you because they want certainty in their life they want somebody that knows what they want and knows how to get it at the end of the day no matter what it is i think that's so important for a coach so yeah if, if you're putting out anything else then you got to know that 
it's going to add to their uncertainty and they're going to go with someone that's doing the doing the right thing. So it's a no-brainer, man. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. But how many coaches do it? So many. So many. <laughs> Great stuff. Now, Michael, obviously we could have a coach who's sitting at the edge of their chair right now and thinking, God, I need to learn more of this stuff and I need to be on top of things, just like uh, what um, you know, Michael was talking about right now. What's the best way that people can get a hold of you there, Michael? Man, Facebook is probably the – Facebook and Instagram probably the places where I'm adding most value right now. So um, it's just Michael Moskos on Facebook. Last name's M-O-S-C-H-O-S. And Instagram, it's the same. First name and last name is the is the tag. So um, yeah, find me there. That's yeah, and 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 just soak it up and use it. <laughs> Absolutely. And and we were speaking earlier on there, Michael. That give us, people that give a lot do get um, a great deal. What is it that you promised? Um, you know, our audience that if they're watching this show right now, that they can be get that be able to get from you if they get in touch. Yeah, I'm a huge believer in it, man. Huge believer in it. Just give, 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 and and the rest will sort itself out. So um, if they get in touch with me, um, well, apart from the stuff that I'm actually putting out, they can use in their business, and and if they actually execute on it, they will have an awesome freaking business. But if they get in touch with me directly, I would actually like to offer anybody that's watched this um, a free 30-minute business breakthrough call call with me and you just have to reference prosper and this video and um yeah it's a super chilled out call it's just essentially finding out where you are exactly and and, and where you want to be specifically and, and get something real finding out what's been stopping you from getting there and a, a two or three things you can change that's gonna make a massive result for you so I'll, I'll offer that to anyone that inboxes me and mentions it to me Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Now, obviously, now that people are anticipating maybe this call or getting in touch with you, what's your usual sort of go-to advice, Michael, when somebody has been maybe running their business, um, they probably haven't been consistent or they're not truly aligned to who they um, have become as a coach because, you know, certain things happen along the way. What's the sort of advice that you normally um, give to your um, you know, people on that 30 minute call and, you know, your last bit of advice on this show today. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, first thing is you got to know your niche uh, w w without that, like without knowing your ideal client, like you're not going to know anything. <laughs> you're not going to know how to market. Then you're not going to be able to get any leads coming in. You're not going to be able to sell anyone. You're not going to have any clients to serve. You have no finances it will go downhill from there. So you need, to, you need to know who your ideal client is and then you need to reverse engineer it back. What do they actually want? And then market to that and, and, and create an awesome product as well that actually changes lives. And people talk about it. People forget about word of mouth. Word of mouth is amazing marketing. <laughs> so, you know, you know your ideal client and, and serve them through marketing, through sales and through product. Absolutely, absolutely. Michael, I can't thank you enough for this show today. And if you're watching right now, you can acknowledge and admit that studying a coaching practice or consulting practice from the ground up is not an easy task. And you really have to have a unique selling proposition, smart marketing, a lot of sales strategies, networking skills, get some social proof, and a whole lot more than that. That's the reason why we here at Live Long Digital really want you to start a business that's profitable and enjoyable now mike thank you so much for joining me on the call today thank you brother keep up the awesome work man awesome awesome to be on thanks for having me absolutely thank you